What's up, everybody? War here. Welcome back to another season 28 build guide for you guys. And today we're doing the Legolas, the Legolas build for the Demon Hunter, the Unhallowed Essence build. Now, I have done this one in the past and we did it right before the season dropped. I still stand by that video guys so make sure to check that one out but this one has been tweaked slightly i have a lot of people down in the youtube comments on my videos especially involving the dh talking about this particular build they've you know they've rationed off some suggestions for the build that i have to my previous one so i've made those changes implemented by you the viewers so we're going to go over everything you need although not only a few things have changed and then of course we're going to showcase the build because it does play crazy Okay, and I got to say right off the bat, it is actually really fast. I'm actually like really surprised. It actually keeps up with God DH, which is kind of crazy. Like GR90s, I'm doing God DH in like sub 120, 130. And this build I can do in a minute 30 as well on 90s, which is kind of crazy. So hopefully we can do that for you today. So let's go over everything that you need for the build. Plus, there's a few things that I forgot to mention in the last video that I'm definitely going to go over and highlight for you guys. So I apologize in that last video if I did miss something. So let's go over everything that you're going to need. You're going to need five pieces of the Unhallowed Essence set. Your generators generate two additional hatred and one discipline. Okay, your four piece is going to be gaining 60% damage reduction and deal 60% increased damage for eight seconds if no enemies are within 10 yards. This build, you're going to be destroying everything off the map and even, uh, even close range if you don't one shot stuff so you're going to be killing things super super fast so this is good and then of course your generators multi-shot which is where all our damage is going to go through and vengeance have 1700 percent increased damage this used to be a lot less so they increased it and it's for every point of discipline we have now that is the key component here i did discuss that so we're going to go over that part right now so discipline is everything that you need we need this as high as we possibly can to deal the maximum amount of input so when we go over the stat priorities i'm going to tell you guys what you need so we combined that with the captain crimson set guys for the cooldown resource cost reduction because we're going to be spamming like crazy and then increased damage okay then of course we have scorch necklace for double damage then we have the focus and restraint for more damage and then of course wraps of clarity for uh damage reduction which is huge on this build um because the build is kind of squishy in a way but not really when we have all the defense from both of these so you're pretty solid and then of course the two items that you need for the build to main is dead man's legacy multi-shot hits enemies below 60 percent health twice and has increased damage i got a pretty good roll on that and then we have yang's recurve where multiple or multi-shot uh, attacks 50 percent faster and does increase damage okay so uh we have our diamonds in the chest and pants and then of course our topaz in here for resource cost reduction our legendary gems are banned of the powerful for increased damage Zaya Stone and Den Vengeance for increased damage and then Bane of the Trap for even more damage. Now, Bane of the Trap is probably something you could swap out, guys. If you don't want to use Bane of the Trap, you could probably use things like Bane of the Stricken um, for even more damage, especially against the bosses. You could always do Molten Willoughby's Gizzard in there to help make sure that your Scorch Necklace is always up. But when you're attacking from distance, you should always it should always be up. You shouldn't be getting hit at all. Another good option if you want more speed is Wreath of Lightning, but I am going to show you in this build that this is really fast, so I don't know how much this would benefit you, but those would be my first suggestions if you did want to swap out that gem, okay? Now, uh, into our uh, stat priorities before we get into the cube, we're going to go the helmet. You need dex, crit chance, multi-shot damage. I got a really bad roll on multi-shot. Don't worry, we'll min-max stats later. Uh, for the shoulders, you're going to want dex, area damage resource cool or excuse me uh cooldown reduction and then resource cost reduction we don't want area damage or excuse me uh no we don't want um all resist in our gloves you're going to want dexterity attack speed uh attack speed increase and then crit crit in our chest you're going to want dex vitality all resist and then here's one of the main stats that you're going to need in the secondary you want this to be maximum discipline we got 11 out of 12 which is pretty good but uh you definitely want maximum discipline on your chest piece in our squirts i have fire damage which is fine and then crit crit in our wraps of clarity you want fire skill damage dex vit crit chance in our belt you want dex vit all resist life in both of our rings they're going to be the same okay you want crit damage crit chance and then you would want attack speed instead of dex but unfortunately we got a really bad restraint 
So I would off for um, attack speed, but if you don't have attack speed, then get dex. Or another one that you could do is just overall damage on these instead of dex, but either one of those is good. Into our pants, you want dex, vit, all resist. In our boots, you're going to want dex, vit, all resist, multi-shot damage. Uh, now here's the other two stats that you're going to need, guys. In our Dead Man's Legacy, you're going to want dex, attack speed, crit chance, resource cost reduction, multi-shot damage, not vitality. And then in, also in our quiver, you're going to want 12 on maximum discipline in the secondary. This is crucial. Okay, now over to our Yang's recurve, you're going to want fire damage, damage, dex, attack speed, and then the resource cost reduction. And again, you want 12 maximum discipline on here. I think I mentioned only a couple of these last time and I didn't get all of them. So I apologize for that, guys. But those is what you, those are the three main um items for your gear pieces that you want the maximum discipline on so that way we have this as high as we can to deal more damage okay so those are the stat priorities and then of course the emerald inside the weapon for more damage now here comes the big changes guys i always run pride's fall in here for resource cost reduction because you should never be hit and then of course ring of royal grandeur for the um two pieces here the unhallowed essence and the captain crimson's and then the big change here is echoing fury instead of the dawn this build is not going to have 100 uptime on vengeance but that's okay we're going to move be moving so fast with the movement speed increase and attacking so fast with the attack speed increase that it's not going to make a difference okay we're going to be able to decimate everything on the battlefield and this gets us around pretty fast because the one thing with this build that it did always lack was just mobility so we get a big boost with that with echoing fury into our skills and passives guys we have evasive fire focus cold so that way we get the maximum amount of hatred generated back because we want to keep shooting every five seconds for focus and restraint multi-shot arsenal for even more damage uh smoke screen displacement for movement speed uh preparation invigoration that which gives us um permanent increase to discipline and then we get discipline back which is good because we're going to be spamming a lot and then shower powder shower shadow power glide shadow glide for more move speed um, and then the life per hit is actually pretty nice too. And then of course, Vengeance Dark Heart for just damage reduction and more damage, guys. In our passives, you can change a few of these around, but we have Ambush for more damage. Thrill of the Hunt, which is huge. Enemies hit by our Hatred Spenders, which is our multi-shot, are slowed, and then that triggers our Bane of the Trap, so this is a must. And then we have Tactical Advantage for, for more move speed. And then I have Blood Vengeance, so that way we always get that stuff back. But a huge um, change you could put here is Hot Pursuit for more movement speed. You could do Coal of the Week uh, for even more damage if you really wanted to. That's a good option. Um, you shouldn't have to do Night Stalker. You could do Steady Aim if you wanted more damage. Those three are really good options. Uh, I just like the Blood Vengeance to make sure that everything is always up. So that is the build, guys. The big change here was definitely Echoing Fury and just getting around. And then I made sure I had the additional stat priorities that you guys, the viewers, helped me point out. I, I didn't get all three last time. I think I only got two. So that's the build. We're going to go in and do a GR90. I've been doing GR95s with uh, about two minutes. So we're going to do a 90 because that's the base that I do for all of these videos, guys. So the build plays pretty simple. We're going to pop Vengeance. Okay, we're going to hit Evasive Fire every five seconds. We're gonna pop shadow power and displace and, and smoke screen. Shadow power will go every five seconds. Smoke screen will be nonstop. And then we are gonna spam multi-shot. You should only hit this if you start to lose some discipline, but if you want, you can keep spamming this as well for the um, permanent increase, which gives you more damage. So you're gonna see we're gonna be moving really fast. The way that the build plays out is a little weird because I'm gonna have my force stopped always being held as long and with my space bar for constant force move. And then I'm just gonna be right clicking to spam multi-shot and then left clicking for evasive fire, which will interrupt my movements. So it'll seem like I'm moving a lot faster than I typically would be playing this build, but that's just how it works. Let me show you guys. All right, let's get it. Make sure to pop them potions, okay? Get your stuff up, bam. And the build just plays really crazy. I'm actually like super impressed with how well the build plays. It's kind of nuts. Make sure, oop, make sure you're always spamming. And it took me a little while to get used to playing the build because it's so different and I wasn't expecting how fast the build could actually be, which is kind of crazy, but um, it's so good. 
Just always keep your movement speed up. Oh, perfect. We got speed pylon, huge. Keep your evasive fire going. You'll see me stop a lot. And you'll see me just spam. You should be detonating everything on, on the map. Like nothing should even be close. We want to make sure that we're utilizing our Zaya Stone of Vengeance a lot. And you see, it just, it's just crazy. I'm, I, I was like so, so shocked the first couple times that I was running this. Because it's so much faster, I think, than the other way I was building and playing it. Which is kind of nuts. It makes me like double double check and like double think of God DH. Like, did I make the right call for farming? Like, did I make it? Like, I don't even know. I've been like so confused. It's been kind of nuts. And when it comes to the Rift Guardian, again, you just get some decent space. Insta kill. Sub a minute 20. We just absolutely decimated this GR90, guys. And that, that right there, too, I have a 101 gem on, a 90 gem, and then this is about to be a 60. So my gems aren't even as high as they could be, all of them at 100, which is nuts. I have no augments here, guys, just all, you know, kind of stat priority gear with nothing been maxed. A minute 40, which is crazy. God DH is doing a minute and a half, sometimes a minute 25. So it is literally on par with the final form god dh build that we put to you guys so i wanted to bring this to you everybody in the comments has been crazy with all the support and telling me to check this out so i definitely made the changes and it's been crazy like this build is so much fun so much more fun than i thought it was going to be i thought it was going to be a real letdown because of not having the spin to win from last season and we showcased that in the other one but this version is definitely much faster super speedy destroys everything no problem like i said i'm doing 95s at two minutes 100s at two and a half minutes so the build is crazy make sure to check it out like the video if you did enjoy it guys as always comment down below what do you think about this build and the changes and again thank you guys so much for pointing that out to me i'm i'm really responsive and receptive to your guys's opinions and thoughts and things that we could change and kind of make better in the game and i want to bring that stuff to you guys because you've been so supportive in the channel so thank you guys so much and as always stay gaming i'll see you guys in the next one peace